to make use of the enhanced importation routines into Mustard Elite from QSCAD, we start simply by using QSCAD as normal. With one exception, we apply filters now. We can apply filters at various stages, but the easiest way to do it is as we measure. So if I want to measure an area, then I can choose here to apply a filter. And I'm applying here filter 03, which matches my part code from MB Elite for phase 3 or building 3 or whatever it might be. Yeah, and we just measure as normal. So if I measure this area, then that's now measured. And so that's done. Now what we do is we just create a summary um, as normal. But in this case, we use the filters. So we say we want to use filter 1, which you'll see here is the phase number. And then we can summarize that still further and it will give us a list of items for each phase. Having done that, we can then export that to Masterville. Like so. And we export it and we'll give it a reference number. And if you wish, you can add a prefix, although I'm not going to purely because uh, I want to keep my descriptions the same each time. That's crucial to using this function. So we can export that. And now we're ready to move on to MBLEAP. Before we go to MB Elite itself, you may wish to look at how you might allocate filter to items. There are several ways to do it. First of all, you can do it as I did by selecting as you measure, but you can also do it retrospectively using multiple edit features. To find out more about these, take a look at our website, go to our news archive, you can type into the search box that you're looking for filters, for information about filters, and then show you the articles that mention filters. There's two here that we think will be of interest to you. These are defined filters here, which tells you what they are and how they work. But also, there's another one here about multiple item editing, which will show you how to allocate filters to multiple items. Now we'll move on to Master Boy Elite. In Masterful Elite, I've set up a project that simply has the phases that I want. And you'll note that the codes for each part uh, match those that I used in QSCAD. I've got elements as usual. I'm only going to use filter 1. You could use filter 2 for elements, but we suspect that won't happen very often. There might be other reasons to use filter 2. Having created that project, I can now go and import from QSCAD, we use the utilities, import from QSCAD, and I find the file that I've created a moment ago. And now it lets me import there. Now if you don't tell it anything, it'll assume it's going to import to where it is. At the moment I've not selected a part element, so it has none selected. But I'm actually going to ask it to use allocate part using filter 1. Now that means that it will use these filters that are in here to allocate the parts across the project. And they're all going to be imported into the same element. So I can select the element I wish it to be. This is all to do with site work. Or external work is probably better. Okay, and I can toggle and I'll pull that in here. Now you'll see you can also import quantities to existing DIMs. We'll cover that later on. And say OK. those DIMs to the relevant parts. So if I go to my DIM sort of list you'll see I now have DIMs in phase 1, 2 and 3. And if I go in here I've got the 01 ones are in phase 1. 02 are in phase 2. And the 03 are in part 3. So it's allocated those. If I now go to those DIMs, you'll see they've been imported, 
they have a code uh, or a label, but they don't have any description. So now I need to allocate descriptions to these kiosk items. To allocate descriptions to the first part is a simple case of going and picking up the descriptions that we want for each of these kiosk CAD measured items. So for example for curved curves we would go and pick up these descriptions like so. each of them. Like so Having allocated descriptions in MB Elite for some kiosk head items in the first phase, we can now use that allocation to help populate a different phase. So we can do that in one of two ways. We can either go into the actual phase itself, right click in the descriptions and you'll see here it says match kiosk head description. It will then ask us which DIM store we wish to match to and we can allocate or select the DIM store and it will do that for us. But alternatively, if you want to do more than one at a time, which I do in this case, then I can actually go to my DIM stores and I can tick the DIM stores that I wish to match. Right click and say match CAD descriptions. What that will do now is it'll ask me where I'm going to match to. So I select the one to match all the DIMs in the current selected DIM stores and I select the source DIM store. OK, and it will now populate the other two. If I go back to phase three, for example, you'll see that now has the descriptions that I used in phase one for each of these items. If I go to part two, so does that. So we've used the QS CAD description to populate the Masterful Elite description. Having allocated descriptions to Kiosk CAD items on one project, you may wish to use it on future projects. You can do that either by matching back to this project that we've already done, or you may wish to make a master project. Now, if you already have a master project, then how can you make that compatible with these new routines? So what we've done is made it possible to do that. All you need to do is go to your master project, in my case is this one here, and you go into your dim sheets for that, and you go to your DIM store that you wish to match it to and instead of matching descriptions we already have descriptions in here so these items already have descriptions on them but they don't have QS CAD codes as such so what I can do here is I can actually go and say I'd like to match this DIM store and I'd like to match the CAD reference not the descriptions because the descriptions already exist but match the reference and again we go through the same process but this time we're going to go back to the DIM store that's already allocated it's ok and that now means that these codes or these items will have the CAD codes which means that if we choose to match to them in future then we can do so